going on YouTube? Coming at you with a quick little video. Um, I finally left TMC. Um, no hard feelings or anything like that. I just felt like that it was a move that I had to make for myself, but I have nothing but great things to say about the opportunity and about the company, which is what I'm going to talk about now. If uh, any of you were wondering, I've come out to the oil field. Um, I'll do a video talking about that probably within a week or so. But just to give a recap of some of the things I liked about TMC, some of the things that, you know, anybody wants to go over there, just kind of give you a heads up just in case. Um, kind of want some reputable information I know some people give you information and they're so blinded by certain things that they can't see coherently or access what's going on um, but first thing first they have tremendous equipment um, I know a lot of people ask me or, or did ask me about the grass I know it was a long standing rumor or urban myth about when you go to the main terminal they don't want you walking on the grass well that is true uh, they don't want you walking on the grass as a matter of fact I don't think they want you walking on the grass in any terminal or, or any other facilities spend a lot of money on that grass so but you got plenty of room to walk around um have a, a ESOP program which is basically a employee share ownership program, which basically after a certain amount of time, since it's a, I know some of you seen employee owned on the side of the company, on the side of the trucks and don't know what that means, but what that means is, is that um, it's, it's a private company, it's not public, but you as an employee, you get shares of the company. And so as just like any stock or anything, it can appreciate or it can depreciate in value or whatever like that. It's, it's, it's essentially an additional retirement plan along with the 401k that they also offer you, which is which is there. But the difference between that and the 401k is that you don't have access to like make any changes in the ESOP or anything like that. But if you're here for a certain period of time and you leave, then they'll give you, they'll cut you a nice little check you know, after that, whatever your shares were worth, depending on how, what percentage you were invested into it. But, I mean, that's, that's great. I know some younger guys or whatever like that, or maybe some guys just say, oh, I don't care about that or whatever. Um, fleet managers, well, my fleet manager, I love my fleet manager. Um, that's a, any word of advice I give anybody. If you have a good fleet manager, they can get you money, get you home, you know, whatever like that. They go through a lot, but if you got a good working relationship, you know, you'll follow. You, you'll you'll overlook some of the other things. If you have a person that you feel like that you can actually call, and they whether or not they really care, but they they care about you. But I really feel like me and my fleet manager, we really clicked. Like he was a, a really solid dude. Um, you know, I love him to death. You know, but it is what it is. Um, what else? What else do I want to say about them? Um, I said they got great equipment. Um, what I noticed was that if you lived in certain areas, um, the lows were better, like around the Midwest area, around Ohio, Indiana area, Kentucky area, of course, Iowa, um, Nebraska, things of that nature, Oklahoma area. Um, it was better paying freight up there as far as their company. I've, what they could get access to um, and things like that. Um, after two years, you can apply to be on um, one of their specialized account, where whether it's boats or oversized. I was there a little bit over two years. Well, actually, I was almost there three years, but I never was interested in doing any of that. I kind of liked it, what I was doing, the line haul. I kind of liked it, but kind of wore out on me or whatever like that but 
I know some people like to refer to it as a starter company, and I don't really like using terminology like that because you can start anywhere and you can turn it into a forever home. It's just what you make out of it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of guys that have that were there for that are there for a long period of time. They love it. They love the I I don't know if I should use this word, but the militant type of feel to it. Like you know, it's just it just the attitudes of some people you just have to get used to them. Not bad attitudes, but it's just a it's just a different mindset and different ideology. They hire a lot of guys from the military, so that type of um, psyche and mindset is kind of embedded. It, it kind of turned me off a little bit because I, I wasn't in the military, but I could work with it. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, they, they they really seem to care, you know, about, about their drivers. Of course, um, you're going to have people that it just didn't work out for them. I'm not one of those people. It was just a situation where I felt like that. Um, I wanted to do something different, um, something that I felt like um, would fit my schedule. I felt like that I needed more consecutive time off, not just time off in general, because where I'm working now, it's essentially the same amount of time off a month, but it's just in consecutive days because I like having weekdays off. And I was always the type of person, uh, I didn't like the extra time off. You know what I mean? You don't get paid for time off. And usually when you get time off during the week, you got to pay to do something. So it just it just didn't work out. So, But over here, the way they have it set up, I get a check um, the week that I'm off. And then when I come back, I still get a check. So I'm not, I'm not missing any papers. But other than that, I mean, it's your typical uh, over-the-road company. I mean... Like I said, it has its pros, it has its cons, or whatever like that. But one word of advice I can give you is uh, they, they they give you a lot of uh, information to succeed um, as a company job. I can't speak about uh, the owner operators because I never I wanted to do it, but I just never I never delved into it. But they give you a lot of information. You have a lot of guys who are very helpful or whatever. Like no one is snotty or anything like that. I mean, it was a real stand up you know company. And so if anybody, you know, if you want any more information about it, uh, you can you can reach me. But the next couple of videos I'll be doing, I guess I'll be chronicling the life of being a oil field trucker or lack thereof. I don't, it's kind of, it's a lot more laid back over here, but I'll get into that in another vehicle. I mean, another vehicle, another video. Um, but like subscribe leave any comments um if you have any questions or anything you can email me at shyhorn at yahoo.com um i'm on facebook at rashad horn um just if you have any questions or anything i'm open to answer any type of questions i'm out thanks